So after unbolting the valve cover and removing all the hardware, I can now remove all of the rockers as an assembly from the head. Some of the studs did come out when I was unbolting it, but that's okay. I'll deal with that later. The studs in question are the ones with the, the rocker pedestal, not the head studs themselves. So now that I've got this exposed, I'm going to go ahead and fill one of the cylinders with the rope and pull the whole car forward until I've got compression on this so I can go ahead and attach the tool to compress these uh, springs and get access to the seals. What I've done is fitted the valve spring compressor tool onto the spring and I'm going to go ahead and it's already compressed. The coils you can see here they're compressed. So when I push on this a little bit I'll be able to release the keepers and I just use a simple magnetic screwdriver to fish out the keepers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and expose the seal on here. So now I'm just have to compress the spring a little bit and fish out the keeper with my magnetic screwdriver. And there's the keeper. And then I can just lift up the whole spring assembly and expose the valve and spring. And you'll notice that on at least this one, the uh, the coil spring here has actually come off the seal, and they are the old uh, rubber style. So I'm going to go ahead and change these out for the uh, the newer Viton material. New Viton seal. And once again, they just slip right on top and snap into place, just like that. So now all I got to do is put the spring back on and the keepers, and then move on to the other valve. I've now finished seals on 7 and 8, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to these two next, but I need to make sure I move my rope and compress cylinder number 3 against the rope so that the valves don't fall into place. Um, yeah, just don't forget to move your rope whenever you switch over to the next cylinder. Now that I've moved the rope and recompressed the cylinder, I can go ahead and remove the seals and these two valves here. So now I've finished all eight valve stem seals, and if you zoom in, you can see they're all the brown Viton material. So now I just need to reinstall the valve assembly and reset the torque on the head and reset the valve clearances. Well, I've finished with all the rockers and adjusted everything to 12 thousandths. So while I've got the valve cover off, I'm going to go ahead and set this top dead center so I can go ahead and change out this distributor and install the one that I've curved for this car. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll go on to the next step. Well, I've got the engine set up, top dead center, and I was going to go ahead and pull this out, but notice the rotor phase is pointing here completely horizontally, and uh, this means that the phase is out, so I'm going to have to correct the drive dog in the block to get the rotor to be in the correct orientation for cylinder nut number one to be over here on firing position number one. Um, also, it's running the two wire module here, and you'll notice that the new modern replacements, or I guess the later version, is a three pin. So, I'm going to have to connect the uh, adapter harness to this to be able to run it with this coil <laughs> setup. So, more work to be done here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this unit out and rotate the drive dog around so that this points in the correct orientation. Um, and then I'll go from there into the next steps. Well, I've gone ahead and removed the distributor and then corrected the drive dog. So, you see now that rotor points towards cylinder one. Um, when the engine's at top dead center and uh, this is how I want it to be so that you know plug wire number one is here and three is over here so with that completed I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and then install the new power spark unit well while I pulled the distributor out, I also noticed that the uh, starter wire isn't well secured so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and resecure it in a better way <laughs> no wonder this car is having starting issues well, once again, I've found another problem. So the uh, the nut that whoever previously stuck this together with is the in incorrect style to fit the starter. Um, this is a British uh, British thread, and this is just a standard, probably metric-sized nut. So um, more more issues caused by 
just so in assembling this indifferently. So I'm going to go ahead and run my tab across here, clean this up, and then uh, clean up the cable end because the cable end looks, you know, terrible. And then I'm going to find the appropriate nut for this. So I went ahead and pulled the carb off of the car because I noticed that there's just too many issues with it. Um, one thing I noticed is that on the right here is a freshly rebuilt one. Notice how fast the choke return is on the, the red car's carb. It barely returns back to zero. So that's one problem. Also, again, the economy carburetor, it uh, it's not set up properly for ported vacuum. This is manifold vacuum. And so uh, we can see there that there's the, the hole. So this gets manifold vacuum and I want ported vacuum. So this is going to need a modification to reposition the, uh, the vacuum port. Also, the uh, throttle shaft and the disc seem to be kind of messed with. Like there's marks and scratches and some scoring. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and redo the seals and put a new shaft and, and disc in this one. Um, and also fix the choke as well. Well, I finished rebuilding this carb. Uh, it needed seals, throttle shaft seals, but it also needed a new shaft, disc, and the uh, bushings as well. Um, remember how sticky this choke mechanism was? Well, now it's back to its fast-paced self. I uh, cleaned up the flange a little bit here and um, adjusted the throat float properly. It was not adjusted correctly. Replaced the needle and seat as well in here, as well as the jet. So uh, this this is ready to go back on the car, and um, we'll see if it fires up. I also replaced the needle with a brand new AEM needle. We'll see if that is going to be good enough for the fueling, or if I'm going to modify it as well. Um, also replaced the damper rod with a 2085 type. It had the 1715 or something, which is the really slow type. So I want this to car. I want this to run well. So I went ahead and changed that already. Anyway, um, that's the status of the carb. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the car and see what we can get out of this thing.